traffic behind us. Here we go. The Bay Bridge repair has been a travel nightmare. Oh yeah, and now there's a call for the project to be put on hold until a better plan is in place. WMAR 2 News' Don Harrison explains. The nightmare continued for those needing the Bay Bridge all weekend. It started Friday with midsummer light congestion and the problems continued into Monday morning. It didn't clear out till sometime around 8 p.m. Jim Moran is one of the county commissioners for Queen Anne's County and he has been fully engaged with the bridge issue for years. Moran says Friday was one of the worst and the most dangerous on Kent Island. The state opened two-way traffic on the northern bridge and that caused a greater than five mile backup on the eastern shore side going west. With the lanes smaller because of the redecking project, all the large vehicles like RVs can't go on the bridge. They don't allow any tractor trailers, any tow trucks, you name it, any utility sized vehicle gets restricted and not allowed on the bridge. And that means 18 wheelers, RVs and other big cars were forced to pull over on the shoulders and even the medium strips anywhere they could until the bridge opened back up with two lanes going westbound. That didn't happen for hours, leaving no room for emergency vehicles to get by the deadlocked traffic. When the bridge backs up, they depend on those shoulders to get those ambulances and that equipment to the Bay Bridge and to Route 8. Wasn't happening on Friday because those shoulders were all blocked, so that's a huge problem. After seeing all the cars go eastbound on Friday, they knew they all had to come back sometime. Sunday evening, we knew the traffic was going to be an issue. We just didn't know how bad. Well, it was worse than anyone wanted. Drivers got off Route 50 early and backed up the side roads for locals, and now no one was moving on the island. That gridlock lasted all day into the night, but the punishment didn't end there. There were still problems this morning. A backup that's over five miles, it's on Route 18. It's, it's, it's choking Route 18 to where our school buses are hours late. It's, it's, it's a mess. Moran is not the only one sounding off. Comptroller Peter Francho in a letter to Maryland Transportation Secretary Pete Ron calls for the project to be shut down for the fall and winter months, saying, I think we've seen enough. The makeshift efforts by the Maryland Department of Transportation to alleviate these conditions haven't worked. We've got to do better. And when I say we, I mean the state. On Ken Island, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.